Hello there, I'm Big Alias, and I'm beasting it up. <laughs> I'm beasting it up pro styles. Um, me and Rage and Bruster here, we joined a uh, we joined a team, and of course, this is called G, and it's, it's, it wasn't down to us. Uh, it was down to, of course, the way that whatever this is called, matchmaking, or... I mean, hello, it's called matchmaking, so I'm going to call it matchmaking, but we joined a team that was totally good <laughs> which is rare for me because it, t it tends to be in games I don't know why I I'm like Mr. Bad like, um I get I always join a bad team but for once I was in the good team and um, I'd, for, and uh, again for once I would recommend you watch this uh, as well as listening to it because I understand maybe sometimes you might not want to watch the gameplay and that's fine because of my crappy quality but uh, I would recommend you watch this one because, as I said, beasting it up. <laughs> but I, um, I just basically want to say, I though all this was happening, all this reapage slash ownage slash ponage, P W N D, that is me. Um, I didn't get cocky. There is no need to get cocky in the victory. I mean. I was using techniques that, oh by the way, this is Capture the Flag, that's why I'm just laying that. Um, I was using techniques that I myself would definitely frown upon. Uh, it's it's this whole hung. The reason why I was acting like this was I wanted to get a gameplay down. Um, so I want, I want to apologize to everyone in the lobby. Basically, it was a whole lot of waiting by my flag for them, waiting by their flag for them. And basically, I, it was a little bit of a defensive gameplay. I mean, what would you rather see? That's what I want to know. I want to know uh, if if you have any comments to make, could you make them be... <laughs> Do you want to see a defensive yet reapage, as they say? Or would you rather see, like, a, a, a crazy mofo in rush crazy... And say, <laughs> just like me going, ah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> but you know, die a lot, but kill a lot. Um, I mean, I see, we've seen a lot of contrast within my channel between defensive yet effective methods, and we've seen a lot of me just going crazy. And it, it's a matter of do you want to see something that's entertaining, such as Rush, or do you want to see something that's good, such as like this? Um, as I said, let me know. Uh, other than that, I just want to talk about, you know, this whole cocky thing. Um, a lot of people get cocky when playing. I, I, I know in Search and Destroy, it's it's, pr it's funny to see in Search and Destroy, because when you're in game chat, <clears throat> when you're in game chat, a lot of people, when they lose, they're like, you know, oh, I don't give a shit. But when they win, they're like, way I rate you, boy. <laughs> and... It's a confusing world, it's like, I don't understand, I've been playing Call of Duty for a long time and I still don't understand this whole idea that it means so much. Uh, I never have understood. Uh, I, I mean, I understand why people get aggressive, but it's because it means so much, but I've never understood. I am not here to drink all the beer in the fridge, no, I'm not here to prestige, to get a particularly high level. Uh, as I said, I, act, I acted like a dick in this game, basically, and this is proof of it. <laughs> oh, let's put my care package down in there, spawn. <laughs> uh, but I acted like a dick because I had to for YouTube and, you know, people want to see good gameplay and I understand that fully. I mean, I honestly don't care. I, I, I watch commentaries for entertainment value. Um, I, when I judge how good a um, a commentator is, I, I judge it on personality and not gameplay. But that's just me, you know. Um, that's how I function. I think I see YouTube more of a um, I see commentaries actually more of a op opportunity to entertain than an opportunity to gloat about super mega awesome ponage, rapage, kill skill in the bitches and the hoes all in the hood <laughs> oh I'm losing my mind here um, but uh, so yeah also capture the flag um, this is a chance for me to spread my wings 
as they say, uh, I don't look. I don't. I, I don't just play team deathmatch constantly. Uh, I, li I like to change my variants. And uh, oh, I understand. This is my first time I've shown any gameplay on DLC. Actually, that's it's kind of cool. Uh, I mean, I don't really like driving much, actually, at all. <laughs> driving is kind of a game out for me, but you know, it's part of the Annihilation DLC. So <laughs> I was on DLC much bit with Luke because uh, he was like. Normally he plays Search and Destroy, and for once, I was like, let's do some DLC Much Pit, and I was like, well, as long as I get more than one life, alrighty then, <laughs> alright, let's do this. Okay, so I believe we're coming to the end, uh, and if you look, oh, 14 for 2, and see, their team, not so good. <laughs> I, feel, I felt sorry for them, though, I, I really did feel like a dick, and... I always feel sorry for a team when I'm destroying them. <laughs> Kiss her, I will destroy her. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I always feel sorry for them. And sometimes I send like a little message, like, like, uh, un <clears throat> sorry, unlucky fellas, or uh, good game guys, or something like that. You know, uh, often they take it as a patronizing view. But um, you know. It's, I, I like to I like to make people feel better. That's who I am. Anyway, so final capture of the game. Thank you, Raging Broster. Um I wanna thank everyone for watching. <laughs> Thanks if you watched all the way through. That's great of you and see you later.